Well, welcome back. Taking on Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, the outspoken New Yorker facing a general election opponent with a similar background but far different views. My next guest jumping into the race in direct response to AOC and her fellow squad members' leftist policies that he says are a direct threat to the members of his community. Joining me right now is Republican New York congressional candidate Desi Cuellar. Desi, great to have you this morning. Thanks very much for being here. Tell me about your background you first. Let's start there. And, and, and and uh, why you are so against AOC's policy positions, how you differ. Well, the main reason why uh, my policies differ from AOC's is because, as a fact, I, I love this country and I hate anything that essentially any type of ideology that wishes to undermine or destroy the freedoms of this country, I hate it because my family fled communist dictatorship in Cuba. Um, I've had family members killed by the Castro regime. My grandfather had to attempt to escape six times out of the country before he was able to do it. So if it wasn't for this country and its freedoms, I literally would not be born. I, I wouldn't even be here today. So. So what are, what are your policy platforms? Are you lining up support within the state party? Uh, tell me about fundraising, how that's going, and, and what, what your platform is. Yeah, so I'm doing right now, we've been doing our due diligence to get in touch with the party leaders because it's very important, um, you know, to get their support. Uh, the, the, their priority at the moment is this coming elections um, in November. Um, so that's that's their main priority. But I've been, you know, helping out uh, a couple different campaigns. Felicia Kalin for city council, I've been helping her out. Um, in terms of fundraisers, we're doing everything that we can online for fundraisers. If you, if you for the viewers at home, if you care to, Fight, uh, join the cause, join the fight. You can go to desiquayar.com to donate. Um, but, you know, essentially we've been doing the, the footwork so you can learn how, how a campaign is, is ran effectively because this is my first campaign. So I got to do my homework and I got I to gotta yeah. put in the work on the ground level in order to learn how to, how to run everything properly. So let me ask you again, Desi, what is your platform? Oh, yeah, sorry. So, the, so my platform, 100% um, pro-police, we have to the least that we could do is stand by our police if our police are going to answer the call whenever we need them. It's it's it, sh it shouldn't be a question that our, our lawmakers support our police officers. Um, we need to help the education system. No parent should be left without a say or an opinion on what is being taught to their children. So, for example, critical race theory, that, that should be completely off the table. Um, no parent should be worried about what their kid is learning in school. Um, they should they should have complete say over what is being taught and, and how their child's life, the direction that it's going in. And then also just an overhaul on cryptocurrencies, um, you know, reducing the regulation that government places on, on businesses and, and cryptocurrency in general, just so that we can help increase the market. Why do you think, Desi, why do you think AOC has been as successful as she is? I mean, let's, let's face it. She and her squad members are pretty much running the agenda. Um, they have completely uh, become the leadership in terms of where the agenda goes, how much money uh, the Democrats are spending. H how did that happen, that she became so successful and resonated so much with a portion of uh, Democrat voters? I think that it's it's because uh, the left leans a little bit more towards media, um, social media, those types of, of outlets, and AOC's following on social media is, is massive. Um, as far as a lawmaker herself, she's the worst or least effective lawmaker in the state of New York, according to the Center for Effective Lawmaking, who gets its information from Congress.gov. Um, they're nonpartisan, and they essentially said that she's gotten zero action on um, in any types of committees. Uh, she's got no floor votes on anything mm. that she's tried to pass, and nothing that okay. she's tried to pass has become law. So it's it's not my opinion wow. that she's not good at her job. It's it's a verifiable fact. Yeah. So so it's a social media back background and uh, and the strength there. Desi, really good point there. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll be watching your campaign.